Good evening, I'm Adrian Seat, and you're watching Biswell. Coverage of populated areas of a digital national Brahad's DNB 5G network in Malaysia crossed the 70% mark at end of September. This inching closer to the 80% target set for the deployment of a second network wholesaler. Pelaksanaan rangkaian 5G negara ketika ini sedang giat dijalankan oleh Digital National Berhad dengan sasaran untuk menyiapkan 7,509 tapak 5G di seluruh negara meliputi 80% liputan di kawasan berpenduduk. Speaking at the Dewan Rakyat, Fami said a total of 5,873 5G sites were deployed and developed as at September 30th, translating into 70.2% coverage. DNB reached more than 3,500 sites in 2022 and expects another 3,500 this year. Thus far, six telecommunication companies offer 5G plans. The ringgit continued to be primarily influenced by external developments in the first half of 2023, while banks maintained strong liquidity buffers. Now, according to Bank Nagara, domestic business activity has improved considerably, but recovery remains uneven as certain sectors continue to face challenges. Now, the challenges rose from elevated input costs and weak external demand. It also said overall business loan impairments remain low at 1% of total banking system loans. On another note, Bank Nagara said businesses are likely to face continued headwinds such as elevated costs and weak external demand. Kanaga Research foresees a possible rise in the global market risk premium, including Malaysia, if the Israel-Hamas war escalates and evolves into a full-scale proxy war between the United States and Iran. For now, the research firm is keeping its FBMKLCI earnings forecasts and year-end target of 1,520 points as the war is still a developing situation. The global stock bond and commodity markets have already reacted forcefully to Israel's cruelty against Palestine over the weekend. On the other hand, the research house said Brent crude oil futures prices have jumped more than 4% to 88 US dollars per barrel. Kananga added, while Israel and Palestine are not key producers of oil and other key commodities, they are at the doorstep of the Middle East, which is a major oil-producing region in the world. This could eventually disrupt the production or transportation of oil out of the region. Foreign selling of local equities surged to 1.16 billion ringgit last week. In its weekly fund flow report, MIDF Research said the top three sectors that recorded net foreign outflows were financial services, consumer products and services, and healthcare. Year to date, foreign investors have net sold 3.13 billion ringgit on Bursa Malaysia, while local institutions broke their three week net selling streak with a net buy of over 1 billion ringgit, highest net buying amount seen in three years. Local retailers continued to net buy domestic equities at 114.4 million ringgit. Amongst the 20 global indices, the research monitor, the most notable losses were the Nikkei 2 to 5, Kospi, and Thailand's set. And that's all the time we have for Bizwell. I'm Adrian Seed. Thank you for investing your time with us and stay tuned.